Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and I thought today we would do something style related. I've had this TikTok saved by, I want to say Liza Belmont or Lisa Belmont, so I'm not sure how they pronounce it. Um, and the caption is secrets from the best dressed girls. And they're basically saying that Vogue editors say the secret to good style is having seven uniforms, like seven outfits that you just wear on repeat. And I've had this saved and I'm like, I just want to give that a go. Doesn't that make so much sense to have seven like pre-made outfits for maybe like slightly different occasions in your life? That's going to be different for all of us, but that you know that you can rely on. I've become quite obsessed with this idea of having like a catalog, a catalog of outfits from my own wardrobe that I can just look at and like know look good, they're tried and tested, I feel fab, they're hitting like my three words, which I feel like at the moment is classic groomed like groomed kind of polished and then the third one is kind of up for debate i want to feel kind of confident and i want to feel put together but i guess put together kind of falls in the like polished groomed category maybe like elevated just to have that kind of i just threw this on but actually it looks put together i don't know is that secret sauce that we're all like trying to achieve i guess and um, yeah i'd say those are definitely i feel like i've got my two words nailed i'm not 100 percent sure on the third right now it's a work in progress but yeah i'll show you the tiktok i'd go and give this profile a follow i've really enjoyed watching the tiktoks and i've had it in my ideas bank and i was like oh i could do this on tiktok i could do this on instagram and i was like no i feel like this is a long form chatty throw this on in the background while you're having a shower, cooking dinner, that kind of thing. And let's come up with seven outfits that I can take photos of, I can keep in a folder on my phone and just rely on for the rest of the summer, basically. Now, Liza didn't mention this. She didn't say to kind of categorize those seven outfits, but I thought it made the most sense for me to think of seven different occasions that I have in my life that happen frequently and will help me give each outfit like a bit more direction. Um, so we've got seven different categories. Number one, childcare drop off um, and pick up. This speaks for itself. This is something that either happens very early in the morning or kind of at the end of the day. And in both of those situations, I'm feeling a little bit tired and I just tend to throw on very easy, really not thinking about it outfits. But it'd be nice to have a bit of a uniform, a bit of a go-to, so that is number one. Number two is errands. Again, speaks for itself. You're out and about, shopping, post office, all those sorts of bits and bobs, but still want to feel put together. Number three, working from home. That is perhaps the outfit that I wear the most in the week. Um, I want to be comfortable. I want to be able to like film, so therefore look presentable, but maybe it's not jeans, but maybe it is jeans. The Agoldi jeans are pretty comfortable. Then we've got two different work situations. I've got work event. So for example, this evening, I'm going to an evening event. I want to look a, like a little bit more elevated than say outfit number number five, which is work meetings. Like work meetings, I want to feel professional, I want to feel confident, I want to feel like put together. Put together is coming up a lot, but perhaps that's a little bit more casual than a work event. I'd say even work event is perhaps the one situation where I would happily wear a heel or like a mid heel. Um, and then the final two categories, evening out, casual, going out with friends, going out with Mark, maybe that's going for a meal, maybe that is going to the cinema, and now I can't stop talking about the Barbie movie, <laughs> or going around a friend's house for food, but something that is not super dressed up. And then the final outfit is afternoon with friends. Like for example, we're all going around a friend's house on Sunday afternoon to like sit in the garden, the kids are gonna play, we're gonna chat, wishful thinking. <laughs> and I wanna look cute, I wanna look summery, but I don't wanna boil and I do need to be comfy because I'm gonna be like bending down, probably playing with like trains on the floor. So there you have it. Those are the categories. Let's start with category number one. Childcare drop off slash pickup. Sometimes when I'm doing these kinds of videos, I have a lot of inspiration photos in front of me and like mood boards. But I feel like with this one, I just want to, I want to like trust my gut, go with my gut a bit more and just kind of go off piece and see what I'm drawn to. And <laughs> I'm drawn to jeans. I'm drawn to jeans. Okay. Maybe let's do the Agoldi jeans, knowing that I could always stuff these for the shorts if it's a particularly warm day. Do you know an outfit that I love at the moment? I love wearing these two together. And obviously in the morning, it's like a little bit chillier. So I sometimes find myself throwing on a layering piece. So I might do these two and throw a vest on underneath because then the vest can be if it's a little bit warmer i don't need to throw the top on let's keep it practical let's go for the black 
I think where I can mix this up a bit here because normally I just go for like black flip flops. I'm really having a black flip flop phase, it's hard to say, is that maybe it's a loafer. Maybe I'll try this on with a loafer. I don't actually really need a bag for this outfit. I just throw stuff on the buggy. So yeah, maybe this and a loafer. Okay. I think we found it. I mean, I just love this outfit at the moment anyway. But I think it's quite nice pairing it with the Arquette Suede loafer instead of the Birkenstocks or the flip-flops, which I would normally go for. And like I said, I don't need a bag for this one. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's quite practical and put together. And if it's a really, really warm day, I can always just whip off the top. I could always throw a lighter shoe on and I could always do um, denim cutoffs instead. Um, but yeah, if you see me at pickup, this is what I'm going to be wearing. Okay, outfit number two is Erin. So again, this needs to feel really practical. This is probably like a trouser number rather than like a skirt. I'm looking at my jumpsuits over there. I'm thinking, is this a jumpsuit? I feel like no, because I feel like I might be like carrying things. I don't really want to wear something that is cream necessarily. And then I go to pick up something that's cream. <laughs> I'm thinking this could be this little knitted waistcoat situation. I purchased this off of Mango. How did I find this? I can't remember if I saw someone wearing it or if I was just on the website looking at acts. They also had, I think it was that, I also saw like a striped waistcoat that they had. But I was like, you know, me and stripes, I buy things in stripes and then I realise I don't really like stripes and then end up selling it. But I saw this and I was like, oh, this is a colour that I really enjoy. And it also comes with matching trousers. You might have seen me wear this on my Instagram. I I could do the matching set and that does feel quite errandy. Maybe I will try this on and I'll see what bottom it works best with. But I've got some like linen trousers. I've also worn this before with these um, silky trousers from Marquette and I feel like that goes quite nicely together, like mixing up textures, just making it feel a little bit different. This is gonna be a try on situation. Let's see where we end up. I ended up with my dish black linen trousers. I've got on some M Parsons flat sandals. These are really nice. These are a new purchase for me. If they weren't so darn expensive, I would buy them in the black. I've now got like a vestiaire vintage saved search um, for them in the black because they are just really, really comfortable and perfect. I wanted my lock sandals, but in a flat shoe version. And these are exactly that. And but yeah, mango, knitted waistcoat, dish linen trousers. I've got the St. Agli bag, which I recently treated myself to. Um, and yeah, this feels like comfortable, practical, exactly what I need for running errands. I sometimes struggle with black trousers because I feel like they feel a bit like school trousery. You know what I mean? Um, so it's nice to wear them with something that isn't just like a t-shirt or shirt because I feel like that's sometimes that can make it look a bit formal. Um, but I feel like this is a way that makes it not look like that, if you know what I mean. My bag's big enough to put bits in. I'm not worried about getting like stains or marks or anything on what I'm wearing. And yeah, I really like this one. Already I'm feeling so inspired and like this was such a good idea because I just feel that every morning I'm rushed to get ready, I'm throwing on the same things. I'd recommend doing this, like watch this video, get to the end, give it a thumbs up and then do this for yourself. Like think of seven occasions, five, ten, however many like fit your lifestyle and come up with the perfect outfit for that occasion. Um, Because already I'm like, okay, I'm like looking forward to wearing this next time I need to do errands. Um, The next one, number three, is working from home. Now I know for a fact, I kind of like know what I want to wear out of these and it's the Arquette Silky Trousers. Oh, these trousers, I've had them now for a good couple of years. They're a great dupe for the row ones that are like over a thousand pounds, which is mad. They add a bit of shimmery, texture to things like a bit of luster they look great with just like the cotton or linen on top but ultimately they're elasticated and they are so freaking comfortable i am actually looking for them in a smaller size i've got them in the 40 if you own these in the 38 maybe you want to do a swap maybe you want to sell them to me dm me because i've been trying to find them on vintage on depop and i can't but i feel like a size down would be better and i'll be able to wear them a little bit higher up um, but they are just very comfortable top half wise i feel like i get a bit cold working from home sometimes so maybe i'd want to go for a long sleeve maybe a white shirt again i don't need a bag for this um because i'm working from home and shoe wise i probably would just wear my birkenstocks because that's what i tend to wear around the house so keeping it practical on that front um but yeah i'm gonna play around maybe there's a slightly different top i could wear have a look at what i've got but i feel like a shirt could be a good option oh this is totally an outfit that i have worn for work from home before um but yeah it is so comfortable like these trousers very very comfortable perfect for like sitting in my laptop in but also an outfit that i wouldn't mind being photographed filming a video in the arquette linen shirts are just 
so perfect and so comfortable and I could always layer it and use this as more of an overshirt if I was like really really chilly but yeah this feels very much a me outfit but a me working from home outfit there you go brief brief fulfilled the fourth occasion is work event and I have some ideas either doing like a black trouser these are some Kate jeans with a fancy top um, I picked this up recently from the Curate and Rotate pop-up. It's from a brand called Liver, 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 L-V-I-R. And it's a tailored linen shirt. It's got a bit of like a Western feel to it. Or do I go down the skirt route and do the dish satin skirt with maybe the Sir waistcoat? Because this feels like the fanciest I like ever want to be. <laughs> Unless I'm at like a wedding or like a big proper like fancy like cocktail party kind of event. And that feels quite fancy but also casual enough that I feel like I could sit on the train up there and not be super uncomfortable. So let's try this on. I recently got a pair of shoes I think could work with this. So let's try it on with those and I'll show you. Okay, here's an example of something not working. I love all of these pieces separately. But together, like, it's just something to do with the proportions. I think where this waistcoat is long and then the skirt is long, I don't know. It's just, like, so not working together. I think I might swap out the skirt for the black trousers, like I originally said. And also, I just, I love a, an all-black outfit. Like, when in doubt, an all-black outfit feels really good to me. Um, These are, oh, let me take them off. A new pair of shoes from... Is it called like AD? Um, I just think these are a good heel that I could actually wear to London without breaking my neck in, do you know what I mean? And I know it sounds silly from just like clip-clopping around in my bedroom in them, but they feel really soft. The leather is really soft and they feel quite comfortable. So fingers crossed on this one. Yeah, this is, I'm not vibing. Let's try it with a trouser. There you go. Okay, done, sorted. <laughs> it needed length. It needed something full length or else the length of the waistcoat just doesn't feel right. And I guess because it's all black, it all sort of kind of blends together. Um, yeah, okay, this is this is a bit of me. I got my little alien Nina bag, an oldie but goodie with some new bits. I feel like maybe I would take off my necklace and do a slightly chunkier, maybe dangly earring. Um, yeah, I have an event that I need to leave for in two hours. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna be cracking out this outfit. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I'm going to wear this exact outfit. I feel really good at this. Outfit number five is a work meeting. And if I'm honest, I'm feeling a bit stumped by this one. I just like walked around, just like looking through everything like, hmm, hmm. Do you know what? I need to go to the place that makes me feel really good and really powerful and really confident. And I feel like that is a tailored trouser. So maybe it's something like these Reformation Mason trousers. These really do that for me. They fit really well. They're a good like base. Maybe with the toe of top, because that's something a little bit different. I could always do the lock sandal with it or a heeled sandal. Yeah, let me try these two things on. I think this could be the right mix of formal and kind of basics, but basics with a twist. I've changed this outfit about 15 times. <laughs> you know what, and even seeing it, on the screen now, I'm like, I still don't think that it's there. I might switch something around. Um, this is the Tove top that I got secondhand off of Vinted, and I just worked out that the waistband on it is adjustable, because I was always like, oh, it's perfect, but it's just a little bit baggy around this bit. Um, but where I've been able to taper it in, it's just given a bit of shape to it. So I'm super, super happy about that. So I'm really in love with the top. I've got my Celine Hobo bag on with it. I kind of wanted to go for a loafer just for like a slightly more formal look. But I feel like where this is billowy and a lot of volume, I think too much volume on the bottom half is just too much volume. I feel like I need something a little bit more fitted. I don't know. Let me, um, let me workshop this one a little bit more. Okay, I found it. I found it. Obviously, I'm very lucky that my work is very casual. I can go to meetings in jeans. I, you know, I don't need to wear something super tailored or like wear a blazer or something like that. But it just, it needed something a bit more fitted on the bottom half. But I feel like this is kind of perfect because it's fitted, but also flared, which like mirrors the top in a way. Um, and I feel like wearing it with a loafer just makes it feel a little bit more put together than with an open toe shoe. But yeah, this one. <laughs> Why was this one so hard? I think it's because what I would normally wear, and I was just trying to do something a bit different, I would normally do jeans, t-shirt, blazer, like easy peasy, um, which obviously I can still wear, I'm sure I will still wear, but it's nice to have something that feels just a little bit different. Um, yeah, I really like this combination together and I love that I found that I could do the bow a little bit tighter. Um, that is 
a game changer. So yeah, actually a very, a very useful one. I was just looking through my photos on my phone and I was like, oh, I just feel like all of these outfits feel very me, very comfortable, like things that I would be excited to wear again, which is just a good feeling. Um, outfit number six is evening out but with friends. So quite casual, not like anything crazy. Comfy, casual, you know the vibe by now. And I'm thinking I would like to base something around this dish skirt, because whenever I wear this, um, yeah, I don't know, I feel kind of slinky and put together. Um, I did wear this with this dish. It's kind of a little bit cropped, but it's not a crop top. It's just like more kind of waist length. So if you wear something high-waisted underneath, that is a good little match. Um, I actually wore this to a barbecue and really, really liked it. So maybe I would wear that. But also there's the knitted vest kind of route or the cream knitted vest. We're with friends, AKA I can wear white. So would I go for like an all white number? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to experiment with this one, but I feel like it's definitely going to be the dish um, skirt because I just, I really enjoy wearing this in the evenings. Okay. This one just felt comfortable to me. I think because if you're out in the evening, actually you're going to start off quite warm and then it's going to get a little bit colder so i think a knitted vest is actually quite a good idea and then i've done it with the dish skirt and then these new m parsons um flats again just like super comfortable but i feel like quite chic and i feel like it matches this look quite well i played around with bags with this one and i could continue playing around with bags probably for the next half an hour and actually like all of them <laughs> i think because this is quite a simple base outfit it actually works really well with basically every bag that i own um it looked really nice with this Suzanne milo bag as well but i kind of liked the slouchiness of the arquette one and it's not too big it doesn't feel like outrageous to take this to a restaurant um but yeah there's definitely other options i could wear here but i, I kind of liked this one i settled on this um but yeah an outfit that i've worn variations of before but i kind of like the adjustments that i made okay the seventh and final outfit is an afternoon with friends probably with everybody's kids there's probably food involved a paddling pool you know the vibe very fun probably very messy so i feel like an all white outfit is probably not the most practical um i feel like denim is and actually i haven't worn too much denim in this video so far so i think it's completely fair to crack out the jeans again what jeans would go for i'm half a mind to do the denim shorts um obviously because i could just wear full length denim if it was a little bit cooler but maybe denim shorts and the knitted vest or denim shorts and the dish little crop toppy number. I'm not sure. I feel like denim shorts are just like the easiest thing to wear. And ultimately, I'm probably going to get a bit hot and bothered. And these will keep me nice and cool. Let's see what I can do. I love this outfit. And it's basically just a riff off of jeans and a t-shirt. Because it is jeans and a vest top. Um, but I love like the texture. I love adding the belt. Um, and also, I've gone. I've tried to do like the Alison Bornstein thing of going for like the least obvious shoe because I would want to wear a flip-flop or just my Birkenstocks with this. Um, and I've gone for the loafer, which I feel like it works. Um, it looks just a little bit more put together. Sorry, my psoriasis is popping off today. I feel like actually it makes my legs look quite long. I feel like the proportions are right. Um, yeah. And then I've done like the massive straw back so I can like throw snacks and you know everything else that I need in that so it's very very practical as well um but yeah I really like this I never would have thought to wear all of these things together but I feel like all together they work and they create something that is very practical but ultimately comfortable feels like me feels like it's hitting my two slash three words <laughs> and it's one that I really look forward to wearing again honestly I've had a very fun afternoon recording this video and I'm so pleased that I found that TikTok that I saved it that I remembered it because I just feel like this was a very good experiment to do and I think before when I've done videos like this or I've like done things like this you know spent an afternoon putting outfits together I've been so led by mood boards which I think are very helpful sometimes but I think it was actually quite nice just to look at my wardrobe and think right okay for this scenario what is like the one piece that I would like to hang the rest of the outfit off of and that has meant that every outfit feels like very practical for my needs but also feels very me i don't know it was kind of nice to do it that way around instead of mood boarding and also i feel like i've taken time over this i feel like i've tried things on and previously i would have been like oh yeah that works i can just take a photo and like get onto the next outfit and just kind of like try to do it as quickly as i possibly could but i actually dedicated time today to it and so many of the outfits i'm like looking at the room and it's such a mess <laughs> because so many of the things that i tried on i was like i mean 
yeah, like this works, but it feels like there's some tweaking that needs to happen. It feels like there's a better outfit here. Um, so those are my two top tips. Maybe not mood board for once, maybe just like go with your gut a little bit more and also dedicate time. And if something feels a little bit wrong, there's probably a better right in your wardrobe somewhere. Um, but yeah, this has been really good. I'm so excited to like look back at those photos and have a bit of a reference point for each of those scenarios. I might actually go back and make an album and then also like add text to each photo so I can remember what each outfit was for. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like this video. I will link all of the outfits down below for you or at least dupes. Um, I'll do each one separately so it's like easy to find. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Bye.